Today we're going to start coloring our background pattern with marker. Now the first thing that you're going to do is get the marker colors that you need. You should have an example of your planned out shape in your sketchbook and you're going to test these markers out in your sketchbook to make sure that you have ones that work the way you want them to work. Now markers can be really beautiful but if you don't use them correctly they can also look really bad when you color with them. So sometimes when kids color with markers they might color really quickly in all different directions like this to try to fill in their shape and as you can see that doesn't really color in very well it has all different directions of lines it leaves little white spaces so I'm going to show you some tips today to make your marker coloring look really nice now the first tip to coloring neatly with marker is outlining your shape first so we've already kind of started that step last time we took our correct colors and we outlined our shape to make sure the outline looks nice. Now, when you're ready to color in your shape, instead of coloring with the very point of your marker, I actually like to lean the marker over on its side to use the thick edge. And then I sort of start coloring in stripes, all sort of right next to each other. And this actually not only looks neater, but it goes faster because I'm using the big thick line instead of the little tiny scribbly point of the marker. And it will actually really fill in your shape a lot faster this way. And the color is nice and bright. It doesn't have those little white spaces left. The little white spaces left around the edge, I can now go back with the point and just kind of fill them in after I get the middle part finished. There, so now that looks a whole lot better than that first scribbly example that I did at the beginning. I'm just gonna keep on going, coloring in all of my spaces using that same technique. After you have all the big shapes colored in, I always like to go back and add more detail on top. So now I might be working more with the point of my marker to add the different lines and shapes that I planned out in my design. Make sure that you pick colors that are going to blend nicely with the color underneath. A good way to plan for that is to use analogous colors. Those are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel because you know that they're gonna blend well together because the colors do kind of mix together as you do this step. And obviously whatever I do on one, I'm gonna try to do on the other. So make sure that whatever pattern and design that you choose, it's gonna be able to be recreated on the other shapes. There we go. Now once I've added my details to my shape, I'm just gonna move on to the next one and keep on coloring using my neat coloring marker techniques.